Lights. Thank you. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is Orson Welles. I'm speaking from the Whittier Village Cinemas, and what follows is supposed to advertise our first motion picture. Max Neptune and the Menacing Squid is the title. Lights. Thank you. Max Neptune and the Menacing Squid is the title, and we hope it can correctly be called a coming attraction. It's certainly coming, coming to this theater June 5th, and I think our Whittier Village Cinemas actors make it an attraction. I'd like you to meet them. Speaking of attractions, well, this robot bird is certainly an attraction, but frankly, ladies and gentlemen, we're just showing you the robot bird for purposes of Ballyhoo. It's a pretty nice Ballyhoo. But here is some of our Whittier Village people. This is the first time you've seen most of them on the screen. Hey, uh, give Kurt a little light. Thanks. Now, smile for the folks, Kurt. Smile! Kurt Clendenin, ladies and gentlemen. That's it, Kurt. I think you're going to see a lot of him. Here's Michael Ornelas, whom I know you love. Michael, here's the camera, Michael. We caught Michael Ornelas with his hair up. And here's somebody you've all seen in the talkies, so I don't have to tell you. She's wonderful. Keaton Shiler. Keaton Shiler, ladies and gentlemen. David Uchansky is the name. I'm going to repeat David Uchansky. I won't have to repeat it much longer. You'll be repeating it. And here's John Garside, who's an extraordinary director. I'll say that name again, John Garside. Watch out. Here comes David Pond. Look out, David. Oops. David Pond, ladies and gentlemen. He isn't necessarily... A comedian. Hey, look, everyone. It's Luis Narino, music composer. And here's one of the best CGI animators in the world, Colin Fleming. I've said a lot of nice things, but Colin Fleming deserves some more. Julian Strickland, a man who can build you anything. Dominic, Dominic Elfano, ladies and gentlemen, makeup effects artist extraordinaire. Max Neptune and the Menacing Squid is a modern American story about a man called Neptune. Max Neptune, I don't know how to tell you about him, there's so many things to say. I'll turn you over instead to the characters in the picture. As you'll see, they feel very strongly about the subject. Max is trying to impress me, it's not working. <laughs> Transport tell about as well as a mechanical floor. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what you'll think about Mr. Neptune. After all, I have nothing to do with the role. Well, Neptune is a hero. And a daredevil. An underdog and a swell guy. A great lover, a great American citizen, and a scruffy troublemaker. Depends on who's talking about him. What's the real truth about Max Neptune? I wish you'd come to this theater when Max Neptune and the Medicine Squid plays here. I think you'll like what you're about to see. Lights. 